When you're programming in Corona SDK, you can use a plain text editor and the Corona simulator and that's it. However, a lot of people like to use an IDE or integrated development environment. And the one that I like to use and the one I use in this course is called Outlaw. And to find it, you just go to outlawgametools.com and then click on the download link. And if you want to pay for it, you can, but for this course, all you need is the light version. So scroll down and then the lower right corner, you'll see Outlaw IDE for Mac OS X or Outlaw IDE for Windows. So go ahead and click one of those and it'll start the download process. And I'm going to go ahead and pause this video right now till the download is done and come back and show you how to install that. After the file is downloaded, if you are on a Mac, you will have a file called outlawide.dmg. And if you are on a Windows machine, you'll either have a zip file, in which case you'll have to unzip it, or you'll have a, a .exe file, and that'll be the setup. Now, it, the setup is a little, or the installation is a little bit different on Mac and Windows, of course. Uh, on Macintosh, when you double click the outlawide.dmg file, this little window will open up and all you have to do to install is grab the outlaw icon drag it over here and drop it on top of that applications icon you get a little window just say authenticate and it will copy outlaw to applications oh this also may pop up you may need to authorize the file to actually be copied into applications if you're on a windows machine just double click the setup file and uh, click on through just like you install every other piece of Windows software. After the installation is done, the installer is no longer needed. Uh, Windows people, you can throw away the, the setup file or save it if you want, just in case you won't need to reinstall it at some point. Mac people, you can take the .dmg file and throw it in the trash. You won't need that again. Let's go ahead and launch Outlaw. And if you're on Windows, it'll be under your Start menu and then Outlaw Game Tools. You'll see Outlaw. And for Mac people, go to Applications and then scroll down to the O's, Outlaw. Double click it and we'll get it launched here. Registration window will come up, but since we're just using the light version, just click that light version button there. And then you can go through the getting started here. And I'm just going to skip it because I've seen it before. And you end up with Outlaw looking something like this. And you can drag the things around a little bit to get things the way you like them. But this is Outlaw and I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a new group. And this is going to be called Crash Course. Now I have Crash Course and there's nothing inside of it yet. So let's go ahead and put the sample code in there. The sample code for the Crash Course is found here in Lecture 4. Download the sample code. So click into that and then over here on the right hand side make sure that Extras is highlighted and when it is you'll see Attack of the Cuteness. Download this file to your PC and just click the little download button there and you will end up with a zip file like this, Attack of the Cuteness. Go ahead and unzip that. I think even on, on Windows and Mac it's per, pretty much the same. Just double click it and it should unpack. And you end up with a file or a folder called Attack of the Cuteness. Let's just go ahead and take that entire folder and this is the same on Mac and Windows. Drag it up here right over the top of Crash Course and just drop it. Okay, now we have a, you can see the thing shuffle a little, reshuffle a little bit so that it's all alphabetized, Crash Course at the, top, at the top. And you can see that now inside of Crash Course is Attack the Cuteness. And you can open that up and see all of the files in here. If we double click main.lua, you can see this is the entire source code for the sample game, the mini game that comes with this course. But to get the most out of this course, you don't actually want to have all of the code there. You want to follow along with me and actually type the code in yourself. So go back to the folder, Attack of the Cuteness, and uh, right-click on it and pick Duplicate. Or if you're on Windows, do Copy and then Paste, or wh whatever you guys have there. I know you can do this. So there's Main Copy, and we'll just keep it like that. And now we can go in here and double-click Main.Lua again, and everything... Everything from here on, just select it, hit the delete button, hit uh, command S or under file, pick save. Okay, and that way now, 
you can go in here and start fresh and follow the tutorial and uh, get the most out of this course. So one more thing in case you skipped over that getting started thing right at the beginning of Outlaw. Uh, the launch button here is disabled. That happens until you have chosen the Corona Simulator uh, location. So go into Preferences and right here use the Browse button and find the Corona Simulator that is, should already be installed on your system. 